Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing very fine. Myself Amit Kumar Mani, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today I am going to discuss all about the pharmacovigilance job opportunities for the medical science students who are MBBS, MD or BDS students because they, that students has also job opportunities in the pharmacovigilance. But most of the time what happens, the students from the uh, uh, that medical science background, they prefer for the clinic practice. Okay. But most time what happen after clinic practice of four to five years they thinking that there is no nothing uh, remaining in the practice we have to switch to the other uh, jobs so uh, in that case also you have a good job opportunity that is called a corporate job which is it job which is which is healthcare it and it is called as pharmacovigilance so if you are not looking for pharmacy practice continuation or from the initials also you are thinking to join the corporate then pharmacovigilance is the best career opportunity for you in terms of salary in terms of growth and scope everything it is pharmacovigilance is really good it is the core department of the pharmaceutical industry especially it is involved in the clinical research operations so here you will get a lot of designations with the job responsibilities in this video we will share you all information which is really helpful to you if you are looking for opportunities in the pharmacovigilance so here i am telling you how to apply which are the companies uh, where you will get opportunity what is the job, pay scale then responsibility designation challenges and opportunities okay so let's get started first of all i just want, want to tell what do you mean by pharmacovigilance so pharmacovigilance is a, it is a science and activities related to the detection collection at, uh, assessment and prevention of the ad, adverse effect uh, whatever the adverse event happening to the patient while the medicine is already in the market so that has to be taken care by the pharmacovigilance department and here the patient safety needs to be taken care of so here different types of the researches researches in terms of the documentation you have theoretically uh, check all the doc information related to the side effect uh, if this side effect is only because of the patient uh, health patient uh, age factor or any uh, food food interaction or food drug interaction or any other okay so there are different sources of the reports such as clinical trial report spontaneous report or regulatory report or any uh, literature uh, report so uh, from anywhere you will get a data for the side effect and you have to work over it so basically it is the role of the first is the case processing but case processing is the first job which is done by the pharmacy professionals mostly it is a data entry job where you have to work over the software which is called argus arisci and you have to uh, collect the data and embed in the software and the next role is the medical reviewer which where it is actually the need of the medical science needed which is maybe bds students or mbbs md okay so what is the role of medical reviewer that that is to be the, the collect the information from the uh, that the case processing and check the and validate this data whether any additional changes needed then they have to make the changes and submit this to the regulatory authority so i am right now telling you what are the designations involved if you are a bds if you are mbbs and md uh, and want to switch in the pharmacovigilance what designation you will get so that accordingly you can search those opportunities on the internet first is pharmacovigilance officer then drug safety physician then literature review physician then medical reviewer then medical writer then quality assurance specialist now we will talk about the job role what is the job role actually uh, means what we have to do uh, here in the pharmacovigilance as a medical science students so first is uh, review clinical trial data medical record and case reports for accuracy and compliance then analyze clinical or non clinical research findings and ensure they are reported in accordance with regulatory requirements then collaborate with uh, cross functional teams including regulatory affairs clinical research and pharmacovigilance to ensure uh, consistency in medical documentation then and scientific issue related to the product safety efficacy and labeling then ensure all medical content meet ethical standards and it is in compliance with the company's policy and regulatory guidelines design develop and maintain procedure for the medical review activities which is icsr aggregate report and signal management next to ensure high quality icsr aggregate and signal management deliverables then perform medical review of icsr aggregate report that is psur periodic safety update report pebrer risk management plan and signal report then participate in or organize review of safety uh, label update then mentor and train medical reviews then 
provide product and therapeutic area training for the pharmacovigilance team and the last one provide cross functional training on pharmacovigilance to medical writing and icsr team member so now i will talk about the pay scale what pay scale you will get so it will uh, depend on the your uh, seniority means for the fresher it should be 4 to 8 lpa for the mid level it is 8 to 15 lpa and for the high level 15 to 25 lpa so it is a quite good package okay if you win to, wish to build the career in the pharmacovigilance this field has a good scope and career also okay in in terms of in salary and incentive also you will get if you are uh, uh, completing the more cases whatever delivered to you means you are getting delivered six cases and you are doing more cases then per case you will get additional incentive also now i will talk about how to apply for this job first of all get a reference okay if you anyone from your uh, colleague or in senior working in the clinical research organization clinical research company where clinical trials are conducted maybe as a principal investigator or medical reviewer get in touch with them you will get an opportunity second thing and very important you will get a first learning okay like what is pharmacovision how it is work what kind of the knowledge is required the skills everything by doing any certification course related to the pharmacovigilance only where you will get a domain knowledge like metra coding narrative writing signal detection aggregate reporting causality assessment lot of information in the pharmacovigilance activity you will get information from the certification course again if you will get a placement assistance also from that organization it is well and good okay and the last one you can directly apply for the companies but before that you must know the skills and knowledge required for the freshers okay now i will talk about the companies which are hiring uh, in uh, this pharmacovigilance for the medical science students so first is cro contract research organization which include navitas life science iqi icon ppd signios no nowadays then pharmaceutical companies which is sun pharma dr reddy sipla then last one eversena tcs fidelity frisis cabi absar life sciences mms product lab group so now i will talk about the different challenges and opportunities in this sector as a medical science students the first challenge is switching from the clinical to corporate because you are definitely thinking that you will be in get in touch with the patient diagnose the patient and give the medicines accordingly so it is a like first preference will be there as a medical science but here it is no any personal uh, touch of the patient you are working on the data you are working on the documentation so always you will be in front of the laptop it is a it work completely so here the switching from the clinic to the corporate is a challenge first of all but it is not a challenge for always after like uh, some period of the time you will get used to for this kind of the uh, culture or environment next is additional knowledge and skill okay you have a knowledge definitely but the skills and the again additional knowledge related to the database the coding narrative writing whatever i am telling earlier you have to get information so that it is definitely easy to get become shortlisted and get job accordingly now we will talk about the benefits so uh, here okay i am telling you if you want to do a practice along with this job can you do definitely you will do you will get an off complete off on saturday and sunday because this is monday to friday work okay and even uh, after like official time you will also uh, will be present in your personal opd okay so otherwise you can do a job in any hospital and according to the time slot you will be available there so additional income will be definitely there next one you are working in team because here as a clinic individual clinic you have to invest something and here there is no any much investment you are investment in the knowledge only in the acquiring skills no any investment for the business but in the case of you are uh, starting your own clinic it takes a time to increase the number of the patient okay and it again uh, has a huge investment but instead of that if you are switching this this is again a good career opportunity okay so the here is no many uh, no more investment and here also you are working in team not individual person in the clinic you are working as an individual person as an entrepreneur also as a doctor also okay but here you are working in the team the work is assigned to you and the team is there to help you got it and again that management time management you will here learn lot of things because you are working in proper time slot and the activities will be already delivered to you so you have to work accordingly and hence the time management you learn lot in this corporate culture 
so this job is definitely good if you are switching from the clinical practice to the corporate pharmacovigilance should be your first choice so if you want to learn more about the pharmacovigilance which is definitely needful for any medical science student you can join our three month certification course in the pharmacovigilance where you will get information related to the overview of pharmacovigilance medra coding narrative writing causality assessment aggregate reporting signal detection lot of information which is required for the fresher to enter in the industry and again you will also get information related to the skill development which is include resume preparation interview preparation job searching email writing skill and at the end we also provide placement assistance so if you are looking for getting opportunities in the pharmacovigilance if you want to switch your clinical practice to the pharmacovigilance definitely you can join our certification course in the pharmacovigilance in description i have given all the details for more information you can visit our website which is www.globalpharmacademy.com or you can call to this number for any kind of the query okay so i hope this video definitely help you to uh, become uh, for uh, getting more information or more insight related to the pharmacovigilance job for medical science students so get in touch with us we are sharing you lot of job opportunities interview preparation tips and certification courses information in our channel Thank you for watching this video. I wish you all the best. Happy learning.